As we track the threat of strong storms through our area right now, today also marks one year since the tornado outbreak in our area. Meteorologist Melissa Nord went back to Spalding County to dive into that day's unique weather setup. One year later, you can still see the expansive damage swath from the January 12th tornado outbreak. On the days following the storm, Keith Stellman walked this very same path. We'd already been prepped that this was pretty bad down here. He and his colleagues at the National Weather Service office in Peachtree City surveyed the damage. Once we saw the, the scope of the damage when we got into the emergency operations center, it was up on the maps and they had marked all from one end of the county to the other. He said, why don't we get you up in a helicopter? Up they went, trying to solve the puzzle. Where did tornadoes touch down and how strong were they? We started flying over it and the helicopter pilot was just flying us over the worst of the damage. And then he said, well, there's more down here and there's more down here and there's more down here. Well, I started mapping where we were flying to and in my head, I'm thinking, this doesn't make any sense. This thing's like two miles wide. In the weeks that followed, they went back through special satellite imagery and the radar from the day to come to a conclusion. There were multiple tornadoes on the ground at once, rotating around a bigger complex. As it entered Georgia, it started to evolve into a squall line, but the supercell was still prevalent. Like a twirling ballet dance, they twisted individually, but all danced around the main circulation. As the storm evolved, some of those tornadoes merged. At its peak, there were four tornadoes on the ground at once. As we walk the damage path, Stellman reflects on how fortunate we were not to have more loss of life that day. We, we hope that the education is getting out there. We know wireless emergency alerts play a big role in that getting that early warning. You know, some of it also is, is luck. I mean, we, we just have to say that the tree fell on this part of the house and missed you, you were on that part of the house. We've seen a number of cases of that. 